I think if you polled Americans uh, nowadays, uh, they really wouldn't care what went on in Abu Ghraib or any place else. And perhaps because the people today that uh, the United States is dealing with have been uh, labeled as radical fundamentalist uh, terrorists, that puts a different reflection on things. I mean, look what we did to the Japanese, for heaven's sakes. Uh, second and third generation Japanese are incarcerated just because of the way they look. The German prisoners in the, in the Second World War, I think the attitude was that, that they were uh, fighting us on the up and up. I mean, it was none of this uh, roadside bombing, uh, terrorist sort of, of equation uh, in there. They may be uh, uh, your enemy, but they're civilized, and at bottom, they're the same color you are, and, and they're the same culture. And I think that is, is, is what makes a difference with, with uh, public acceptance. Uh, Hitler could declare war on the United States in 1941, but nonetheless see the United States as humane but weak, whereas in 2007, those who see the United States as an enemy um, see uh, the United States as uh, committing atrocities. So times have changed. As we debate the changing times we live in and our current treatment of POWs, the past should not be overlooked. Jörg Kuhn, owner of a German restaurant in Beargarden, organized the annual German Memorial Day at Fort Reno, a former POW camp in El Reno, Oklahoma. I thought uh, this is part of our heritage, this is part of our history. Johann Kuntz and 69 other German POWs lay buried at historic Fort Reno. We come together here to remember the German POWs who built the conflict that engulfed years ago, and to reflect on the tragic conflict that engulfed the world at that time. If you have been a soldier in a wartime <laughs> army, then you have a very real connection to the people who lay to the west of this chapel. Recognizing that we stand in a historic spot which commemorates a chapter in the history of Germany and America. A chapter which, on many other grounds, is a tragic story. As far as I'm concerned, Johann was a man that was just in the middle, and he shouldn't have ever been there. And the sad part about this story is there was paperwork laying on somebody's desk that he was to be moved two days later. So he just fell through the cracks.